well, it's like the Pink Floyd line, you know, living life of quiet desperation. I mean, that just terrifies me. Well, that's Thoreau's quote, that most men live lives of quiet desperation. It's one of my favorite quotes ever because it's true. It's so and I've true. been that guy. Oh, my God. You just li- you're just in this world where you just can't wait to just run away. Well, the opportunity takes place usually when you're young and you don't have any responsibility. That's when you have your options. Well, your options are severely limited the more you gather responsibilities. Like, if I had, as a 51-year-old father of three, married man, pays taxes, has a house and a mortgage and a business and all that jazz, if I had to quit everything now and struggle the way I struggled as a stand-up comedian, it would never work. But the only way I could be this person now is if I took that chance when I was 21, when I was dead broke and had my cars repossessed and all that stuff. That's the only way you you ever get where you want to go. You have to you have to take a path that's dangerous, and most people want to take the safe path. The safe path leaves you stuck in quiet desperation almost every time. It's hell. It's hell. But can people just make that change? I mean, yes, look, you can, I believe that. But can. you have to plan it out. The way you can change is you have to put aside enough money to give yourself a window. And then you have to have a plan. And you have to spend all your waking hours outside of whatever job you do planning your escape. And you have to come to the realization very clearly that you got yourself stuck so whatever you're doing you have to do it like your life depends on it and whether it is you're trying to be an author and you're gonna you're gonna if you're gonna try to be an author and you're working eight hours a day plus commuting plus family responsibilities or whatever else you have whatever time that you have you have to attack like you're trying to save the world you're trying to save your life you don't want to drown that one and a half hours a day that you have to write and you better be caffeinated and motivated you got to go you got to get after it and you got to have discipline that's most people don't have those things most people don't understand what it's like to to really go for something and to know that the consequences of not doing that are horrific that sometimes you don't find someone for a long time and then when you do it changes your whole life you find someone maybe it's just a YouTube video and it's you just pushing people and telling people to go get after it and people see that and all of a sudden it's like they get goosebumps their heart starts racing it's like you gave them a drug like you gave them fuel and then, then they want to change their life. And then they want to watch you tomorrow. And then they want to watch you when they're at lunch break. You know, they watch you on their phone. But that's, that's fuel. And you literally can change a person's life through that. Because we need each other. I mean, this is, it's one more piece of evidence that we need each other. And that we have this sort of very strange, loose-fitted community of all human beings together. When someone like you does something that's exceptional and says something that's exceptional and has these inspirational words, it can change a person's whole life, change their whole path, change who they are. I've gotten so many messages from people that say, I lost 130 pounds. You know, I did this. I got off sugar. I'm, I hit the gym five days a week now. I'm, I'm, I'm a different person. I'm drinking water. I'm exercising. I take vitamins. I'm eating healthy. I, I got more juice. I got more energy. My whole life is different now. Because I'm more positive. You. Yeah, it happens all the time. But how does that make you feel? I'm not, I'm not anything other than you. That's so important for people to hear, though. Yeah. That they are you, but that they can be someone like you, too, if they put in the kind of time and effort that you put in. That's the real message. The real message is we all started from no I mean, we all had bullshit jobs. We all felt like losers. But through time and effort, you build a stronger human. You build a stronger body. You build a stronger mind. You build accomplishments and will and momentum. And then you look back and you go, hey, man, I'm not washing tables anymore. You know, I'm not. Uh, I'm not washing dishes. I'm not cutting lawns. I'm not digging ditches. Yeah. You know, I'm. I'm a different person now. But I used to be. 